The Civil War involved bloody battles and great technological change. Within days of the outbreak of war, the Union forces of the North established a blockade of Confederate ports known as the Anaconda Plan. It aimed to cripple trade in cotton and munitions. In response, the South devised an ingenious strategy. A group of Southern businessmen and engineers led by 40-year-old H.L. Hunley experimented with submarines in Alabama. Their greatest success was a 30-foot vessel named the Fish Boat. Attempts to use electric batteries and steam power had failed. They now relied on something more old-fashioned. The Fish Boat was operated by eight men turning a propeller shaft. It had two ballast tanks, one at either end, and along the keel, a weight that could be detached for emergency buoyancy. News of the submarine made its way to Charleston, South Carolina, the Confederate Army's biggest port. The South wanted to attach an explosive to the fish boat and blow up the Union's ships. During 1863, Pierre Gustave Toutant Beauregard uh, was in command of the defenses of Charleston, and he wanted to do everything he could to try and break through the blockading fleet. During trials, the fish boat sank twice, and a total of 13 crew members drowned. Undeterred, a new volunteer crew was found, and a plan devised to sink the USS Housatonic, anchored off Charleston. It was a key vessel in the North's blockade of the harbor. The Housatonic was quite a significant American surface ship. And uh, after initial failures, they managed to get the Hunley into position. It sort of paddled its way forward with the men inside working very hard. These early boats were armed with spar torpedoes, and a spar pointing from the front with an explosive on the end. The trouble with that was it was virtually an early version of suicide bombing. We call them torpedoes. Uh, but really they're mines at the long of a long pole. They have a barbed end, so when the ship rams the hull, the barb will keep it in there as the Hunley then has to back out. During the raid, the Housatonic's lookouts spotted the Hunley and desperately tried to escape, but it was too late. The spa torpedo contacted the Housatonic. It went off, it caused a huge explosion. She disappeared below the waves in only three minutes. The first ship to be sunk by a submarine. Five of her crew drowned. The Housatonic sank, but so did the Hunley. At one level, this was the first successful submarine attack. But at another level, it demonstrated that really you had to develop a better weapon for the submarine and also to produce a proper power system as well. 